Well, hello and good morning. Devin coming at you live from Veritas backstage. I've got a special guest today. This lovely lady is Michelle Brown. Yes. And she was just talking with us a little bit about her experience with the Veritas Bioactives products. And I thought this would be a good opportunity for her to share with you. So I have 17 years in health and beauty skincare and I have run across some amazing lines and some hard to understand lines of just reading the label and the how to and when has always been um, something that's been a little hard for me and being an everyday woman with a child having school and dinner and husband and activities to do I needed something that would be thankless just basically step by step and glowing beautiful skin so I have found Veritas Bioactive Cosmetics and I have found it to be amazing. I find that the flawless and not only smells beautiful like your morning coffee when you start your day, but I feel that my skin feels tighter. It looks pretty. Um, I'm across the table having lunch with my girlfriends, no makeup on, and they're asking me, who's doing my Botox? And I'm like, it's not Botox, it's Veritas. And they're they're, they're shocked. They're like, I thought you were on Obagi. I thought you were on Skinmedica. And I'm like, no, I've been using Veritas for a little over three years now, and I have my skin is completely improved. I had acne problems, and being that I am mixed and that I my skin has um, had clogged pores, I can't ever find the line that really can help me. Um, I'm in the sun pretty much seven days a week, so I find a lot of products that say you, you know you can't be in the sun. You can't be careful with um, UVA, UVB um, protection. Veritas just has been my happy, my happy medium. I, I can, I find that I can um, get up and go. I can start my day and I can end my day on a positive note with um, the scrubs, the microdermabrasion. And the microdermabrasion is my favorite. I know. That I can do that three times a week. So our pore perfecting polish is the product that she's talking yes. about now, and it's got these really fabulous bamboo microexfoliant crystals. Mm -hmm. It takes just a little bit, not even a dime size amount. You use it in the shower, that's at least what I direct. And um, those bamboo micro exfoliant crystals are nice because one, they're, they're fine for our marine wildlife as opposed to an aluminum oxide crystal or to plastics that other skincare manufacturers put into their products. And it's combined too with L-lactic acid and that's an alpha hydroxy acid proven to uh, reduce the signs of sun damage also, too, to aid with those clogged pores that she's been experiencing. You can use it on your back, on your legs. I've used it like full body. That's the biggest <laughs> tip, too, is using some of these products not just as they're directed. You know, if they say face, great, but bring it on down, mm -hmm. neck, chest. I especially love the pore perfecting polish on my underarms and mm -hmm. bikini area, any area where you really need a close shave. Um, mm -hmm. My gentlemen love it, too. Yeah. Yeah. I definitely. Yeah. Find that sometimes I have a little outbreak on my on my back, and I will scrub my back down with that. I'll, I'll get in the show, like I'll put it on before I get in the shower. I'll let it, it feels good, and, and the, your back starts to clear up like immediately. So that I find that like not only will I want it on my face, but I kind of try to cover everything. It's just it's like my it's like my go-to regimen. Well, and the way it works too, just in addressing the physiology of the skin and what these active ingredients do. L-lactic acid works first by softening the outermost layers of the skin. Your stratum corneum is really comprised of just numerous dead layers of cells that are just compacted. If you have acne, your oil combines with those dead layers of cells and then gets trapped in your pore, causing inflammation to build, and then you get the pimple, right? The zit, whatever you like fun. to call it, right? <laughs> Not fun, they hurt. And so lactic acid softens the stratum corneum, unlocking that brick and mortar, that glue that holds those cells into place. And then with those bamboo microexfoliant crystals, you're able to lift those dead cells up and away. Mm -hmm. And then when you combine that with the Flawless Cleanser. I use the Flawless Cleanser. The Flawless Cleanser definitely has helped. It's really good for ethnic skin. Um, I find that my skin is tighter, it's smoother, the appearance is naturally glowing. That that's because of the, what you've used the ingredients. Right, the daisy flower extract. Daisy flower extract helps to brighten the skin. You're getting that in the cleanser, in addition to salicylic acid. And the difference between the flawless cleanser and other salicylic acid cleansers out there is that 
we don't manufacture with these harsh detergent surfactants that are the reason for the suds and the bubbles in your skincare products, mm -hmm. um, your cleansers. If you look at the back of it, and I would challenge you to do this, look at your shampoos, look at your cleansers. If you see sodium lauryl sulfate or sodium laureth sulfate, those are sulfates, and that's what we don't want on our skin. They unnecessarily strip the skin, um, creating an imbalance. When you remove too many of the oils, then you're communicating to the skin sebaceous glands that you really need to be producing more. Mm -hmm. And so now you're creating a confusing conversation, if mm -hmm. you will, between your skin or your skincare regimen and your sebaceous glands. So the skin needs adequate hydration in order to prevent some of the other signs of aging like wrinkles. Mm -hmm. Certainly winter time, we need more hydration as well. So it's really just a matter of finding balance and that's what that flawless cleanser will bring. Aside, aside from those mm -hmm. two products and then your Honor Ultimate DNA Defense, mm -hmm. do you have any other favorites? And why do you like the why do you like our sunscreen? Um, I pretty much that's, I love the whole entire line. I feel that in in the world that I'm in, like we are, there's a little joke that we like to say is that um, a black doesn't crack. Well, that's a good one, but it, it does. What does that mean? Yes. There's, you know, sister to sister will say like, oh, how old are you? And you're like, oh, I'm 40. And someone will say, you're 40? And I'm like, yeah, I'm 40. But um, I turned 40 this week, as a matter of fact. And they're like, oh, Happy birthday. thank you. And they're like, black doesn't crack. And I'm like, oh, that's true. We, I like that line. But it's also because I've spent years of taking care of my skin. I've really, you know, put my best foot forward of finding the product that works for my skin that keeps me from, um, you know, reducing the fine lines. Um, so we're looking out for acne um, with the honor the honor is one of my favorites I use honor um, at least three times a day I like it with or without makeup um, I love it on my hands I feel like my hands get a lot of sun because I'm constantly driving and your hands typically I feel like are the first thing when I look at a woman sure. begin to age and honor is really smooth it doesn't have the purple effect that you see um, especially when I have thick skin like myself um, I feel like there's no hue to it. It's very, it's just like a nice little lotion. It goes on, smells good, feels good. It's not heavy. Um, it's perfect. It's one of my favorites. What do you, how do you feel? Well, what I hear too, especially from, from my friends, from mm -hmm. my clients or distributors who have dark skin types, mm -hmm. African American. Um, I've got a really good friend who's in the DC area. Mm -hmm. Hello. Hey. Um, she loves our Honor Ultimate DNA Defense. Her skin type is darker than Beyonce's, but lighter than Seal's. Mm -hmm. And um, she said, you know, Devin, your product doesn't have that, that white residue. It doesn't leave a white yes. film on the skin that makes me look purple. Yeah. You don't have to go get a washcloth to keep trying to rub it off or rub it in. It's just like, I, I do a couple little dabs, it goes on smoothly. You don't have that hue, you don't have to worry about well, it. Well, and we're talking about, too, using a product that is, is pretty white looking mm -hmm. when you take it out of the bottle. The okay. reason for that is because the product contains zinc oxide, and zinc oxide, pre it, it creates a superior sun protection than chemical or absorbing sunscreens. It creates a physical shield on the skin, so UV rays never permeate the skin. Um, the zinc stops it, it stops the, the UV rays. Um, it does, it, not through an absorption, but more with a, um, a repelling mechanism. But zinc oxide has a really large molecular size, and so often companies utilize the product, and you, well, you all are probably familiar mm -hmm. with seeing kids especially yeah. running around on the beach with and it's like covered. white you can on their them. noses, and, or and pinks or purples. Safe. Yes, some people mm -hmm. you'll find feel safe that because they see the white that it's working. And that doesn't necessarily mean it. You, sometimes you haven't even rubbed it in. You just feel like, I don't know about you, but I've, I've been on the beach with my girlfriends. And I'll say, why didn't you rub that in better? And she's like, because. Like she, she thinks that you have to see it to know that it's working well with honor. That's not true. First of all, it rubs in really smoothly. Once it's, once it's into the dark cell of the skin, it's penetrating. You've got, what, 90 minutes? For it before you have to replay it before you have to replenish it, especially if you're in the sun on the beach in the water. Well, yeah, different rules apply depending on your activity. Um, I know Dr. Calvo also has some really strong opinions too on when you yes. should or should not wear sunscreen because of the importance for the body to manufacture vitamin D. 
And so what I understand to be the best advice is to apply your sunscreen after 10 a.m. and um, not after 3 p.m. And reapply when you're out in the sun. Certainly if you are sweating, perspiring, or you're in the water, you'll need reapplications for uh, the ultimate sun protection. Yeah, and I, that's key is that you have old knowledge and learning new knowledge of how to make it work for you. So right. that's why I say that when, I, when, I'm on the, when I'm out and I see how it's ski season. So you'll see people skiing and across the slopes and they're, you, you're either going to visually see it or they're not going to have it Well, in the winter too, it's important yeah. to continue to wear your sunscreen. Have, have, have some sun protection. Have yeah. skin hurts. <laughs> it's cold, but those yes. UV rays are still here. They're still there. They're still mm -hmm. there. I mean, you're bundled up and the sun is still beating. Um, I love Honor. Honor has definitely, I've seen an improvement. Um, I feel... I carry it in my purse. I, I don't. Do you experience any mattifying effects from that product? Do you feel like it supports with decreasing the amount of oil? Yeah, I do. I don't feel like um, I don't feel oily at all with it. I know my son who suffers with severe acne. He likes it, and he does not want to wear sunblock, and he doesn't want the oily feeling. He doesn't want to feel like he's been swimming in product. He wants to just get up and go, and he's 21. So I I feel like. I love it. The next generation is found finding it useful. He, he's not scared to put it on in public in front of people. It's not too, as one would say, like it, it's. You don't feel like when when you touch a piece of paper, it's gonna like leave an imprint. And right. so that's important. Guys are are always concerned about yeah. that. I feel my son, even who's only nine and a half, he said to me that he doesn't like to use lotions because. It makes his hands feel weird. That's what my son says too. Like mm -hmm. when he rides, he's like, oh, I don't, it feels like things are slippery. I'm like, you don't have that problem. And, and he agrees. He's like, there's no problem with this. He, it's, he will use that before he uses his daily lotion. Yeah. And so I'm happy as long as I know he's doing something to take care of himself. Yeah. So. The mattifying effect of the product was really a secondary benefit. It wasn't something that I was aiming to achieve. Mm -hmm. It was the result of just the compilation of the ingredients. And... Um, you know, our zinc oxide pure physical sunblock, it goes onto the skin, it, it has a translucent look. Mm -hmm. It's not a look too that's that's shiny. You often hear that complaint too uh, for, from clients. You, you put on a sunscreen and then it just looks really shiny mm -hmm. and it looks unnatural or now I feel like I have to put on powder to tone that down. Mm -hmm. And um, It doesn't have a bad smell either. No. It smells good. I think that's the next thing is that uh, I find worried about like do I smell like does it have an odor to it and it doesn't it's really nice it's it's, it's really your your go-to you can get up and go with it um, I do like I'll have to learn more about the um, 10 and the 4 3 that's a new concept that I'll have to um, take implement but I like that idea well that's when the UV rays are the strongest mm -hmm. and so you want to protect yourself from that um, your when the UV rays are weakest mm -hmm. right before 10 in the morning and after 3 p.m. in the afternoon having some amount of sun exposure and we'll find out in a, in a follow-up podcast um, or here on Facebook live we'll have Dr. Calvo join us soon and he can talk to you specifically about the research that he's uncovered that support these other claims which are really um, not what most dermatologists would tell you and even some plastic surgeons it is new information and um, really it's is in the benefit of developing vitamin D. So um, I like that. everything in moderation. Yeah. And, and I think for the sun, too, that that, mm -hmm. that rule then would also apply. Thank you all so much for joining us today. We appreciate you very much. We look forward to visiting with you again. And DM us here if you've got any questions. We want to hear from you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.